Right, you watch your morning live. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, the late jazz great Benicia Sol, who died from cancer in the United Kingdom some two weeks ago, will be laid to rest at a home in East London, South Africa. That's today. Benicia, who was born in the Eastern Cape 75 years ago, is widely regarded as one of the foremost exponents of South African jazz. Her distinctive and soulful voice captivated fans for many years at London's 100 Club, where she played regularly. Today, her life's journey comes full circle as her mortal remains returns to be laid to rest alongside some of her closest departed relatives in what will be a emotionally charged send-off. For the latest, let's now cross live to our reporter Unati Bengose in, the East, in East London. Unati, good morning once again. Thank you very much, Sam. A very good morning to all our SABC News viewers. Now we have since shifted places. We are coming to you live from the city centre. We are in East London, East London City Hall to be exact. This is the venue for the funeral service, the main funeral service uh, for the late Mama Pinise Saul. The, 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 the jazz great, um, the lady who has made her mark in music while she was up in London in the United Kingdom. Uh, her, her journey comes full circle today, as you've rightly pointed out, as her funeral service will be held here. Uh, most of her relatives and of course the, her, her mortal remains still remain in, in Tanzania, uh, her home, uh, but we do expect that in no time they will slowly make their way towards uh, the East London City Hall where uh, the actual funeral service will be taking place. But I can tell you that inside the preparations are well underway and we do expect that a full house will be here come 11 o'clock uh, when the full service will be underway. Um, looking at the obituary, there are some heavyweights that I expect. Ah, oh, pardon us for that. There's a huge truck that is just driving past the city wall. It is disturbing, uh, drowning me a little bit. Um, but I can tell you that inside the preparations are well underway. We do expect that uh, a full house is going to be here to come and witness uh, the funeral service of Umama Bini Sesson. Someone who's not that well known here at home because she did her music while she was up in London. And uh, most of her music was had a very, very political content. I mean, given the times and uh, the circumstances that actually forced her to go and work in London. Uh, the apartheid regime somewhat um, uh, barred her music here. And if you listen to some of the tracks that... Um, um, she had recorded while she was in London along with some of uh, the people she was working with while she was up there. Um, I've googled some a little bit and I uh, heard that uh, she had some politically motivated songs, songs like um, Apartheid, No Freedom, Yes. Those were some of her hit singles and that, were nev that never saw the, day, the shine of light here at home in South Africa because they were banned. Uh, but um, I'm sure, um, speaking to some of uh, the jazz legends from East London, they say it's going to be a funeral with a difference, a very, very musical, and we'll get to hear a taste of some of her music that um, um, the apartheid regime, unfortunately, um, stopped us from, listen from listening to. So those who will be coming here for, for, to this funeral as they are in for, for, for a very good treat, and we do expect that a lot of people People will come to pay their tributes here. He's leaving behind uh, two sons, uh, Utata Uboy Boy, and of course Uput Voisile, and, um, and his uh, 12 grandchildren. We do expect that um, all of them will be here uh, to come and witness um, has what is expected to be a very, very emotional send-off uh, for Umama Pini a soul. And those who will come to attend this funeral will live uh, knowing a bit more about Umama Upini Sassoul and uh, the work that she, she, she had been doing while she was up in London. She left in 1975, we're told, but um, speaking to some of the locals here, they say that uh, she was no stranger to South Africa. She will come back home every chance she get, uh, particularly in December. And speaking to the neighbor, they say that uh, her last visit was in December last year. And she was telling them that um, she will be back here in December again this year, and this time it will be for good. Little did, did they know that um, all she meant was that She'll be here to be laid to rest. Unfortunately, as we heard that she passed on uh, a fortnight ago and she's here permanently and will be laid to rest alongside uh, some of her closest relatives. With that, allow myself, Unati Bingwase, to wrap and link um, to an ad break.